Hi, my name is Ian, I'm at the Fleet Science Center, and today we're going to take apart a video game console. What we're going to do is we're going to look around on the inside and see what parts of the video game console might relate to other things that you have inside the home. So I've already taken all of the different screws and everything that hold the external case on. So now we're going to pull it apart and reveal what's on the inside here. All right, so just after removing the first case, what you can see is we have the uh, disk drive and it's going to look kind of like the CD player that you have in your uh, car. Uh, we can also see there's a couple of antenna. Uh, so this video game console has both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi technology built in so it can connect to the internet. We can also see here this is a, a fan for cooling. Uh, some other things we can see here, there's a memory card uh, that's used to save your games or any kind of other content. Other thing we have here is this little coin battery. And what this does is this will save your settings whenever you unplug the console. All right, so now that I've unscrewed the disk drive, we can go ahead and peel it back a little bit. You can see that there's uh, two main sets of wires. And so now you can see we have sort of this separate into the disk drive and then what I would consider to be the main computer portion of this uh, console. All right, so now I've taken off all the screws that are covering sort of this metal plating and there were some plastic parts that kind of held some pieces together. And so now when we take this metal shielding off, what we'll see is the video game console's uh, motherboard. All right, and so here, now you're starting to see the actual insides of the video game console. So here we have this large heat sink. This is where the uh, CPU or central processing unit is. And if you remember, uh, the fan actually sat right here. And so it was blowing air directly across these foils so it could cool down, kind of like the radiator inside of your car. We can also see a lot of different chips and capacitors and other different electronic components here. So this is a wireless controller. Uh, so this is for, again, both the Wi-Fi and probably the Bluetooth as well. Here we get a good look at what the different connectors for the uh, controllers for the video game are. Uh, we can see here, this is where that uh, memory card went into. Uh, and then on the back, we can see sort of the USB, this is the power plug, um, and then there's other connectors for the video here. Uh, so we have this, it looks like we only have a couple more steps to go. I'll pull off this heatsink so we can take a look at the CPU, and then also take a look at the underside of the logic board to see what's underneath there. All right, so now I've taken off the screws of the uh, heat sink on the CPU. So now I can just pull that off. And so now what you can see, so there's actually two chips underneath here. If we go ahead and flip this over now, so we can see some more of the same, um, some resistors, uh, some diodes, couple chips underneath here. Here we can see this is where that coin battery plugged into. So this strip all along the outside here, that's what's called a grounding strip. And so if we flip it over, um, what I hope you'll notice is that this really isn't any different from a standard computer. So the computer you might have on your desk or you might use at school, all the components are essentially the same. You have your processing unit. Here you have a video connector. So this is what you would connect to a monitor. Here you have your controllers. So this would be your keyboard and mouse. You have your memory card that goes in there. There's probably some onboard memory here as well uh, called RAM or random access memory. And then there's also gonna be an audio chip. There's a wireless connectivity like we talked about. What this shows you is that your video game console is really nothing more than a computer built explicitly to play video games. And so uh, with that, we've finished the take apart of this video game console and I hope you guys enjoyed it.